been a while since I came up here. One good place you might want to check if you uh, want to make some extra money is electrician shops. Probably the bigger the business, the better, I would assume. Uh, lots of private, you know, just a dude or two would probably do a lot of their own scrapping. Uh, just kind of an assumption, I guess. But anyways, this is a big electrical electrician shop. Multi-truck, multi multi-employee and uh, they've been throwing this stuff in here for years and years and years and years let's have a look i see some whole thing of circuit breakers over there but, uh, let's get in there and take a look this is sunday if you go to a store like this you want to do it definitely when they're closed uh sundays are good good time to be doing that kind of stuff Some rain water in here. Nighttime. Nighttime will probably be better time to do this. But uh some copper. Let's see how much of that we got in there. If I would have come prepared, I would have moved my scooter over here so I could just drop it in my bucket. <laughs> Making videos on my mind. But uh, if you do this at nighttime, don't don't dress up all sneaky. You know, don't don't uh, be sneaking around and stuff. It's generally not illegal. If someone tells you to leave, just leave. Um. You probably get in a lot worse trouble if you sneak around and stuff, you know, act all suspicious. Just come and do this like you know, like you belong here, even if you don't. <laughs> Someone tells you to leave, just leave. That's, that's how it is. Generally, if you're in the United States, you'll be safe. If it's out out here, see how it's in the public domain like this. As long as you're just not a moron and act like an idiot, you'll be fine ticket make, make it a ticket you know but. so like scavenging like this generally is not going to be illegal anywhere for the most part there might be an ordinance against it or you might get a ticket you know but uh, there are things that are illegal like trespassing and like lurking at night what do they call that uh prowling prowling at night uh littering kind of like i'm doing now <laughs> so i'd want to have my bucket over here but this place is pretty dead right now so you know loitering being belligerent if someone tells you to leave and you don't that kind of stuff is definitely illegal but anyways let's get to this <clears throat> I've got my handy dandy new face mask. That's a COVID-19 edition. I never used to wear that. I used to take my shirt, take my shirt and put it up over my face if I had to. But this COVID-19 has added a tool to my toolbox, what do you think? Nice little pieces of wire. It's, doesn't look like a whole lot but if you could sit here all day and, and pick up pieces of copper like that you'd be really surprised 
by how that copper adds up. Pretty surprising. If I just sit here all day. <laughs> if I could sit here all day, if I could sit here for 10 hours and just keep picking up pieces like that nonstop, I'd have hundreds of dollars. <laughs> Take a quick little break here. Let me show you this BlockFi. This is not a paid advertisement or sponsor or anything. It's just something that is just awesomeness. I want to show it to you real quick. You can earn up to 8.6% interest on your US dollars on BlockFi. I have a link down in the description. I also will add the link down in the comment section pinned with my little heart symbol down in the comment section. If you've been watching my videos, you know I've been talking about this digital monetary system opening up on the internet. So basically your standard brick and mortar bank is, make, is taking your money, is, you're paying your bank to hold your money for you. They're not giving you anything back. 8.6% interest on your US dollars if you deposit into here on BlockFi. This is the most biggest trusted names in cryptocurrency. When you deposit there, they turn them into a Gemini USD. It's a, it's a stable coin. It's linked to the US dollar. You want to go here and explore the site? Links down in the description. A lot of people just don't understand how wonderful this new digital monetary system opening up on the internet it really is. But if you want to go check this out, there's a bonus down there for you too. And I'll also get a small bonus.
So put this mess up it's a little bit more and then I thought there's gonna be that truck. I don't know if I got him on camera that drove by. I don't know if he's coming out of storage unit or what. I think that was a scrapper. If I showed up on camera, he had a bunch of old used water heaters loaded up. Um, okay, so with these circuit breakers, I'm no circuit breaker pro, but there is silver in here. And I've always been inclined to just take this stuff to the scrapyard. I throw it in with my tin shed. But uh, the way the commodities are coming up in price, copper and silver and metals. Um, and this goes for copper too, like cleaning motors and stuff. I've always been one. Just uh, so if you need to pay rent, you can just throw that, take that to the scrapyard as is. You have the luxury of uh, going after the silver content and these there's definitely silver in there but it's the new ones it's an alloy uh, uh, kind of a silver alloy so you have to refine it it's kind of a pain i'm no circuit breaker pro but i think you could probably sell these as long as you tell people they've been used and they're you know discarded and you could sell them for just parts or repair, you know. They, they, they definitely have some value to it. But it's kind of an eye of the beholder deal, you know. Some people might like refining metals. But uh, if you get into that refining metals, you want to follow all the safety precautions because it can get start dealing with deadly chemicals and stuff, you know, some of that stuff. So I'm not it's not my specialty so there's there's uh, definitely channels and videos on YouTube just hoarding copper if you were just hoarding copper and metals over the last years or decade that would probably really really spot be ready to pay off for you in the next coming decade we're electrifying transportation and, and whatnot you know we're going to clean energy electricity electric cars and electric this and electric that and there's gonna be a lot of copper copper needed and silver and gold but uh, copper is gonna be one probably in the most demand I would suspect just because we drink you know, we use, use it for our drinking water pipes. And obviously, our electricity, it's hard to beat copper. And there, I just watched a deal on YouTube. I don't know, it was, it was actually a, a paid ad trying to get people invest. So, yeah, watch out for that kind of stuff. But I would believe it's true. There's, they're having a hard time finding more copper deposits. I guess they're going into Chile, concentrating on Chile, country Chile. But <laughs> kind of talked about this in a video a while back. We need to pump, we need to print trillions of dollars and just give it away for free to people while we're, thro while we're throwing away Probably at least a trillion dollars worth of goods into our dumpsters every year. I would, I would suspect at a minimum. I've always put it right at about a trillion dollars. <laughs> now it's kind of the same deal with copper. Talking about potential copper shortage coming. And <laughs> where are we going to find all the copper we need to, you know, fit this huge demand that's now and and even gonna be worse here pretty quick you know we don't, where are we gonna find the copper <laughs> oh. <laughs>
while we probably put uh, I can't I've never really done the numbers a lot a lot of copper we're just we're burying it in our land that's where we can find it our landfills <laughs> you want to know where the copper deposits are at in the world go to your closest landfill it's all over the place that strike anyone else out there the way it strikes me <laughs> give people a trillion dollars straight into the bank for doing nothing they throw that trillion dollars in the garbage and we bury it in the ground there might be a copper a metal crisis coming in the coming decades where we're gonna find all the copper while we bury it in the ground <laughs> where can we where can we find some ground where we can dig up some copper ore, some copper pools, some copper deposits? We need to find some copper out there in the ground somewhere while we throw this copper and we dig a hole and put it in the ground. <laughs> Is it just me? All right, I'm gonna load this up. Okay, so if you are fortunate enough, so you gotta watch out for that. Look at that trash splash rainwater so it's not real bad dumpsters generally are not very dirty or gross unless there's organics in them organic dumpsters are filthy and disgusting dumpsters like this it's not really you saw that water in there it's rainwater that gets dumped out every week so it's not it's not pleasant but it's not anything disgusting you know um if you are fortunate enough to find a honey hole like this you want to uh never make a mess and, and clean up and uh, just uh, act like it's your own yard you know uh, you don't want to lose a honey hole if you're fortunate enough to find a honey hole you don't want to mess around and lose it there's a camera right there off diagonal off the corner of that overhead door is a camera pointed right at it so uh, you know, I, so no one messes with these trucks and lots of stuff people come back here and steal so you want to be known as the the friendly neighborhood scavenger who doesn't make a mess and who closes the door that was open when we got here obviously the rainwater was on it and uh, yeah just a really good idea never make a mess and if you think some other scavenger has came here and made a mess and you show up you might want to uh, clean that mess up if it's a honey hole I mean it's not really your responsibility but uh, so if you were going to start doing stuff like this for some extra money if the scrap yards were open I would just take this right to the scrap yard right but uh, I originally rented a storage unit out at this place because it's just right down the road from that scrap yard real close because I live in an apartment you know and uh, so that's just something to consider lots of times you uh, can be a lot more efficient depending on your situation you know if you can have some places to store stuff that isn't your residence you know what I mean I suppose even if you live in a house you know if you get a load load of stuff you know if you got a load of stuff and you live over here if you're over here with a load of stuff on the side of town and you live over here and the next day you got to take that load of stuff over here somewhere well maybe maybe you want to have a storage area of some sorts over here so you can go this way with an empty load you know what i'm saying driving around with a full load doesn't make a whole lot of sense it doesn't matter if you're driving a dump truck with a 53 foot trailer driving around with four loads all the time back and forth think about it <laughs> if you can dump a load somewhere you know you go back this way you might find more stuff right it's the art the art of the scavenger but uh i pay uh, on average fifty dollars for these three and i've seen in the comments some people say they have to pay like two hundred dollars for a storage unit where they live that's a lot that might be true for some people but you know if you just got if you just got junk 
you know if you're not if you're not storing super high valuable stuff maybe you can find a run down old decrepit storage area you know they're out there they should be out there somewhere we started doing the storage area thing what like in the 70s or so well i mean commercial storage places but uh, Anyways, I might, I might hang on to this for a minute. I might hang on to that for a rainy day. I'm thinking maybe next winter I'll get some smelting gear and some, start melting some silver down and stuff. Um, e Waste Ben is a guy. I put the link to E Waste Ben's channel down there. Lots of you, lots of you I'm sure, already know about E Waste Ben. A piece of copper to get it. E Waste Ben has been hoarding hoarding metals so check that channel out he does that kind of stuff <sighs> well hope someone out there gets a load of load of s trash cash scrap money and i hope you enjoyed this little show as always thanks for watching